Okay, let's have a look at some E's, and we know that E's are good. So A's are good, A's are good. First up, the letter E is for Elmo in Grouchland. The good, the bad, and the stinky. I can't stand this bastard, so we'll carry on without him. And some Essex boys. How many movies can you make about some English gangsters getting shot in a Land Rover? They're still making them as far as I know. So this one, is this the original one? I can't remember now. Uh, Empire Records. I don't think I've seen this actually, but it's got some good music. Who's this? Do -do. A lot of before they were famous. Easy Rider. Classic film. Who directed this? Dennis Hopper himself. How did they make this film with all the drugs they're on? Of course, Empire Strikes Back. This is the original all time greats. So, this is the non improved one. Got a nice cast list. Uh, Enemy of the Gates. I do like this film. Inspired by a true story, yeah, that's as much as it goes, but we've got some great cast, and it's a great war film. Right, snipers especially. Uh, another CBS Fox, another Disney film then. Uh, yeah, two rival, two rival uh, pilots crash land on a pl planet and have to learn to live together. It's just the first really mouldy tape. So it's the first English film by Wolfgang Peterson. Edward Sitter Hands from the director of Batman and Beetlejuice. It's not very not the best description of the film, but a little mouldy one. The Elephant Man, I was gonna do impression, but thought against it. A marvellous movie, there you go. And yeah, produced by Yeah, Brooks Films. Yeah. Mel Brooks made this, but kept his name off it because he didn't want people to think it was a comedy about the elephant man. Very wise decision. And back when Hugh Grant was in everything in the 90s, this is The Englishman Who Went Up a Hill and Came Down a Mountain. It's a Welsh film, but I don't know why Tom Colmini's in it. But yeah, basically, they have to make a mountain out of a hill. English Patient. So yeah, this is winner of nine Academy Awards. It is a great film, and Anthony Mignola, oh, it's a sad loss for the movie making world. This, on the other hand, I've never seen. I'm not a fan of musicals as such, and especially this one. The only song I know is Don't Cry For Me Argentina. Oh, some Arnie though, Erasure. Uh, is this his last great big action film? When was this? 97. I think so. Then we've got Enter the Dragon. This is the one of the old worn releases. So this is a cut version. I think all of them on VHS are cut. So there's no nunchucks, net breaks and such. So yeah. So if you look at this poster, he's holding a piece of wood. In the famous poster, he's holding nunchucks. But still a great film. We've got some cut or two. Then we get to... E.T. So this is the film people waited six years to get on home rental, uh, home release. Was it worth it? Not for me, I never watched it really. And then the Tinkered With Special Edition, remastered with unseen footage and missing guns. Gwyneth Paltrow, back in the 90s when she was becoming popular for all the costume dramas. Emma and Emma. Yeah, so this is the Cinema Club release, pretty much identical as usual. Then same with East of the East. Channel 4 film came out in the late 90s. Quite a big hit in the UK. And then the Cinema Club release. Four additional deleted scenes. Then we get Aaron Brockovich, based on a true story, another one. But yeah, this is a fun film. Especially if you like legal stuff. And yeah, why not have a slightly different cover? Barely noticeable, apart from, I think, 
the logo is in a different place. This is an odd one. Earth Girls Are Easy with Jim Carrey, Jeff Goldman, Gina Davis. I think if you've got the HD copy and pause it correct, you can see a fully naked Gina Davis. Jeff Goldman and Gina Davis are out of this world. Come on, the sun. How many hours does it take them to come up? Some Dirty Harry and the Enforcer. This is the third film. And the excellent Dirty Harry films. That's Clint. Every which way but loose. I can never remember if this is the sequel or the original. The Exterminator. The man they pushed too far. Yep. Yeah. It's a great film. And then you get the canon centric sequel. Only a few more. Not many in these. Eyes Wide Shut. Another one if you... Wait, then you have to pause it. You can see a lot of... There you go. Almost that's the scene. Uh, a lot of Nicole Kidman. So what does it take? A year and a half to make this film? Something ridiculous. Delayed the production of Mission Impossible 2 by six months. Or something. John Carpenter's excellent Escape from New York. The <laughs> that post has always been a massive lie. But still, fantastic film. Budget release. The Entrapment. So this is the special edition to get the making of. Actually not a bad film, this. If you like to see Catherine Zeta-Jones bending all over the place and tight stuff. Uh, what's this? Executive decision. <laughs> Slightly different post to this, I think. Usually it's more prominent with Seagal's face, even though he's not mentioned in the top. He's under the title. But no one felt cheated when he died. And finally, Eight-Legged Freaks. Yeah, it's only a 12, but it's a fun while you watch it sort of film. A real screen from beginning to end, says Empire Magazine. There we go. Thanks for watching. Here, Ender the Lesson. Has anyone here got any Vera's? Lovely.